Now, this is a short demonstration on using a model TV12 tube tester from Superior Instruments Company. And we're just going to do a couple of tests on the 6AQ8 valve. And the first one we're going to do is the uh, a short test, leakage test, on a 6AQ8 or an ECC85. First thing to do is uh, switch it on. Then we're going to have to line up the needle in the middle there to get the proper line adjustment done. So that's done. Uh, for this uh, valve, it's a 6.3 filament volt, and I've got them all up, up here. The lever 4 goes into the F position, and that's all we're going to move for now. Later on, we'll move these other ones to do the actual test, but for the short test, that's the only one we're going to move for this valve. So I'll just put the valve in now. So this switch here, ABCD leak, has to be in the leak position because we're looking for leaks. So just let it warm up. I can just the bolt. That's uh, just setting the line adjustment with the valve in. So all we're going to do is move these levers up one at a time to the P position and down again by watching this uh, neon lamp here. If it glows, it'll be a, a short or a leak, but there's another occasion on when we move lever 5 up, it will glow, but that's only the filament. So number one first, that's clear. Number two, number three. Now, I don't think you're going to see this, but on number three, it's actually glowing because uh, I know this is a faulty valve, so it's a fault on that one. Uh, number five, once again, it's also glowing, but it's supposed to glow on there. It'll also tell you in the charts that uh, fill, uh, number five lever will t on the P position is an indication of filament continuity. So we'll just test the rest of them. That's six, seven, and eight, and nine. So that's okay, apart from lever three, it's faulty, there's a leak on it. So we'll just take this one out now and have a good uh, ECC85 here. So we'll just uh, test this one. So again, just let it warm up a bit. So we'll do the same. Move each lever to the P position while observing the neon lamp. And it glowed last time, but there's nothing there this time. Number five, we'll see it's glowing on number five to indicate filament continuity. Number six. Number seven, number eight, and number nine. So everything's okay for that test. So we can go ahead and do the quality test now. For the quality test, uh, the sensitivity or the load has to be on 60. Uh, the other levers, uh, lever two has to be in the G position, and lever one in the P position. And this one here, the circuit switch, has to be in position B. That's B. So we go ahead and do the quality test now. Once again, that's reading about a 128 from here. So that's indication of an excellent valve. And this is a dual triode valve. So we test the second triode now. So with that, we just put these G and P levers back where they were. And for the second valve, the lever seven is gonna be on G and lever six is on P. So once again, just and that's reading about 128. So the fairly close matching valves there, so everything's okay with the valve. And this, couple, this one actually tests transistors as well. It has the old uh, four, five, six, and seven pin sockets if you want to test the very old valves. But according to the manufacturer, this can also determine the mutual conductance of a valve. Uh, to, to do that, the sensitivity is set at 50, and the circuit switch is always set at C for whatever valve you're doing. Now all we're gonna do is take a reading from here. And that's reading 58. So 58, the formulas will tell you, there's a, in the, all in the manual, that equates to 5.8 milliamps, and that's the uh, cathode current. And uh, from that, from the, the, the formulas in the manual, we can actually get the plate resistance. And then if, to continue, you need like a receiving tube manual or find out online what the amplifi amplification factor is for the valve. And so according to the manufacturer, you can get an like, indication of mutual conductance. Uh, thanks very much, thanks for watching, bye bye.